saying in this scripture. Amen. I'm going to read that again. The scripture says mm, in the NIV, it says, when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Amen. I thank God for the reading of the word. Amen. Which is John chapter 19, verse 30. Amen. Go ahead and read it. It's going to bless you. Amen. I'm going to jump right into it. The word overturn means to abolish or to reverse. As a noun, it states that there has been an act of turning over or upsetting something to make a reversal. Then I was led to look up reversal. The word defines itself in sin, change to an opposite direction. Position, of course, of action. I'm going to say that again. Reversal defines itself sin, change to an opposite direction. Position or a course of action. I like the word reversal because it states that reversal is to change to the opposite direction of position. Listen, we live in a world where it seems like we are supposed to be competing against our sisters and brothers, but that's not so. We will identify this life in different ways. Some feel as though they should be looking the same as others. Some feel that they should be operating in the job in the same way. Some feel that they should be operating in the home the same way. Some feel that they should be raising their children in the same way. But I must tell you that it is not so. But certainly as believers, we are to be led by the Holy Spirit when it comes to all of this, because the Bible is our guide for the life we live. We are all one thing in common, and that is that we receive Christ as our personal Savior, according to Romans 10, 9, and 10. We, the believers who have received Christ, will encounter things differently, and that is okay. We are to suffer as Christ did, according to 1 Peter 5 and 10. And it is not for the punishment, but it is for the making of us, for the betterment of us, to make us strong, to be able to stand against the things that think it will take us out. Uh, the things that you are encountering right now, it may be in your home, it may be at your job, it may be in school, it may be with your friend, it may be with your mom not being there. It may be with your daddy not there. It may be a rivalry between you and your siblings. It may be church hurt. It may be family hurt. It may be the husband is not acting right. It may be that the wife is not acting right. Uh, uh, but I just want to encourage you and let you know that it is certainly for the making of you. I want to let you know that the making is the judgment and that the judgment has been overturned for your good. In the moment, it looks so bad, it can look like it's not going to get any better. But it is just the way that you look at it. And what it seems like is saying that God is saying, stay right there. Don't move because I am with you. God said, if you are mine, endure it. He said, endure it. He said, if you are mine, count it all joy, receive and know that I have overturned it. In the scripture, John 19 and 30, it was the prime example of the overturn. Come on, I'm going to preach this. Amen. I want to take my time with this right here. Amen. It says most times, right, we don't acknowledge that Jesus had God. Most times we forget that Jesus had God, that he was, amen, and that he had to go through it. He had to go through something. We got to understand that Jesus had to go through it. Uh, somebody act like Jesus didn't go through it day, but I promise you, if you read your word, Jesus has encountered the things that we have encountered. He went through it, amen. Jesus had to get beat and 
bruised. We know the story. Some of us do. Some of us don't. It was bruised along the way, but it didn't stop him. He continued even to go on. And as he got to the cross and they stretched him out, they nailed him. We had the outsiders and the watchers who were looking and laughing, but they didn't understand the purpose of that moment, my God, when he was up there on the cross. Little did they know that God was overturning some things for us. Did they not know that Jesus dying and then he had to resurrect up that it would be an overturn for you and I in that moment on the cross when Jesus received that vinegar and he said it is finished the overturn had happened right there some say well I how did he get there? I believe that Jesus on his way with the cross, Jesus said, if I just keep my mind saying no, my father in the assignment, I know that it's going to end. So when Jesus got there, he said, do whatever you have to do because I'm nailed. I'm suffering. I got an assignment. And so when Jesus did it, they had to see this thing that was going on. Don't miss this point when Jesus was on the cross, because some people say he did it, but didn't really understand that the overturn took in that place, meaning that there was a change, meaning that the soul no longer was to die, but the death of Christ opened up new life for you and I. Somebody ought to give God some praise, because certainly we don't think about that, but God said, I started is the overturn. He said, I did the first overturn. So what makes you think I can't overturn some things in your life? What makes you think that I can't change some things in your household when your children are acting up? I'm preaching to myself. God said, I overturned so that you would have new life. So I'm switching it up. Your child is acting all types of ways. You don't know what to do, but you feel like giving up. God said it's an overturn happening, but you must go through the process. You must keep steadfast. You must keep moving because I got you. And in this moment, I begin to think about how good God is, how he thought about us from the beginning of time. He didn't forget about us, but at the beginning of time, it was Jesus that he had in the plan for us the whole time. God said, I want you to understand what the overturn looks like. Some people may say, I'm going through something at my job. God said, I'm overturning it. Just go through it. Just keep me in front of you. Just stay focused. Some may say, I'm battling sickness. God said, I have overturned it. The, the plan of the Christ, the, the plan of the crucifixion, there was an overturn that the healing we will be made whole, that we will be certain in this life, that we can understand that whatever we go through, the overturn has already been approved. The judgment has already been set forth. I'm encouraged to know that when I am struggling, when I am pressed over, I am literally pressed, and my back is against the wall, that God reminded me that the overturn has happened in my family. The overturn is happening in my relationships. The overturn has happened at my workplace. The overturn has happened in the body of Christ. If we would submit ourselves unto the Lord, submit ourselves unto the assignment, oh, it is, has already been overturned. The Lord says, I have already turned it around. I have already did it for your good, for your good. The death of Jesus was for our good. The death of Christ was for our good so that we could live on, so that in this current life, we could have peace, we could have joy, we could have happiness, we could have all those things. Some might say, well, I just lost a loved one. Some might say, well, it's just not looking so great. And this is what God wants us to remember. 
that with everything that is going on, it's an overturn because the first overturn happened with Jesus Christ. The first overturn happened with Jesus Christ and it was for the people of God. It was for our good. It was for the betterment of us. It was for that our soul would be saved, amen. It was for those who were killed. The crucifixion had a lot of power in that moment. It was a lot that was going on, but make no mistake that God said there is nothing that you guys are encountering that my son has not already encountered. So don't think you're the only one that's struggling. Don't think that you're the only one suffering. Don't think that you're the only one crying. Don't think that you're the only one who had a child out of wedlock. I was there. Don't think that you're the only one. And God said with all of that, I still yet overturned it for your good. Some people will make you think a certain way. I was ashamed. I was all of that when I was in the church, at the church house. But God let me know that I overturned it. My blood, it covered you. No more shame. No more guilt. No, none of that has to happen because the overturn at the crucifixion was everything that we needed and so much more. So on this morning, I want you to understand that there is nothing, nothing that you are going through that can top the overturn, the power of the overturn of what God is going to do in your life. You got to first receive Christ. Hey Amen. You got to receive. You got to believe and receive Jesus. Hey Amen. To get this type of message because some people wonder why the people of God can just slide through and go through and, and, and show no emotion and so that what they've been going through all week you wouldn't know what the people of God is going through unless they told you. How is that so? Not that we're so great because the overturn happened and our soul is anchored in the Lord. So we know that God is going to bring us out. We know that the overturn, whatever decision God makes, it is for the good of those who believe in the Lord. Amen. Somebody ought to give God praise for the overturn in their life. Amen. Because truly, this is a difficult time for myself. Amen. And I believe God's word. When God said, I overturned, did not save your soul. That means that I can deliver whatever is going on. I can deliver your children. I can set them free. Yes, I can do it. So I was encouraged with this message on this morning because there's so much going on within the family. So much going on. And God said, I'm God. I'm overturning this thing and not for your glory, for my glory, so that they will believe and they will see who I am in this day and in this time. Amen. I bless God for his word, for the overturn, amen, that is happening within my life and within your life, within the body of Christ. Remember overturn. It is a change. It is a position, a course of action, reversal. Things are being reversed, amen? And we got to see it for not what we want to see it for, but for what God has put in front of us, amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank God that is all that I have for the body of Christ, amen? I pray that it bless your soul, amen? God bless you all. Praise God. Whew, man. The messenger of God said, the people of God got to stay right there because it's going to be overturned. And she said, the plan of God, it didn't just happen yesterday. And it didn't just happen in Mary's womb. But she said, from the beginning, it was so. And God had a plan to overturn this thing for you and I, praise God. And she said, Jesus went through it. He didn't just do it, but he went through it. <laughs> she says, stay right there. And if we stay right where we at, understanding, she said, understanding and knowing what God has already done for us. If we can just take the time out to sit there and understand it, 
knowing that God is going to overturn it. Praise God. I praise God for the message and the messenger on this morning. Listen, when God is moving, he is moving on your behalf. He's already overturned it and then gave you the knowledge enough to know it. And he, he doesn't have to tell you how, and he doesn't have to tell you when. He just says, stay right there. Just stay right there. If there's anything that you need overturned on today, surely you know that God can. Surely you know that God will. The message was brought on today for you to understand it. That God himself went through it. God endured it and then said, it is finished. If we can stand and if we can walk in that, knowing that it is finished, praise God. Listen, right now, this is the altar call. This is the altar call. The messenger of God today, listen, God is overturning it. You don't see it. You didn't know there was a plan since Genesis. You didn't know it. But today, you know. God already had you in mind before you were formed in your mother's womb. Praise God. He already know what you're going through. He already know. So this is the time if you want him to overturn anything that is happening in your life, from your thought process to the way you move about in life, to the things that you're enduring on today. The messenger of God said, God is overturning it for your good. Praise God. And he shall get the glory out of it. Amen. Amen. So take your time, right? Type in uh, the chat. You can type it in the chat uh, for Prophetess Sai. She's going to pray a prayer for everybody, right? Just type what you need from God in the chat and take your time. We don't have to rush. Uh, the message came. It came swiftly, <laughs> came quickly. And the point was made, praise God, praise God, I praise God uh, for the messenger allowing God to use her on this morning. Uh, take your time and just type everything in. And I pray that Prophet Asai will see it and be able to um, catch it. Take your time, don't think you gotta rush, just put it in the chat. God is so good to us, praise God. God is so good, so good. Amen, we see. 